uh, I keep finding uh, more and more situations where people have changed uh, what they believe about God and what they believe about the Bible. And uh, in Romans 10, 9, and 10, uh, it says unequivocally that unless you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, then you cannot be saved. And so the confession is made in order for you to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, but also to act on your faith. And um, I was talking with some people uh, today about this issue, but I know people that supposedly make confession to God, they're going to do this, that, or the other, and they don't do it. And I always share this story about the lady that came and said she's going to play the piano for us. She played the piano for us once, and we never saw her again. So the commitment isn't there. So it's, it's, you could say, I'm going to go and do thus and, th and so, but it's really something that you have to say and then follow up with your actions. Um, I find often in dealing with people and over the years that they promise me they're going to do something. I've had people promise me all kinds of stuff. Oh, pastor, I'm going to help you. And when my ship comes in, I'm going to bless you financially. When, uh, you know, I'm going to help you in Sunday school, I'll help you with the kids or I'll help you with the adults. And it may last a week or two, and then we don't see them. And so we find that that there is a, a reason that the Bible puts commitment here. Uh, years ago, there was more emphasis on the word and words that you speak than there is today. I shared many times, farmers used to go to the bank and they would go and talk to the, the banker and tell the banker that they promised to repay the loan at the end of harvest. When he uh, harvests his crops and sells them, that he will repay the banker. They would shake hands, and the banker would give him money. i like to see you do that today. Amen. You go down to the bank and tell him, I'll be sure to pay you in six months. Amen. You, you, you can't do it. You're going to have to show a lot of collateral and you have to prove your credit is good and all that sort of thing. Can I get a witness? And so you, you, you are. We all still um, are are known by our word. We're known by whether we do it or not. Not just say it, but we're known whether we keep our word or not. If we tell someone we're going to see them Friday at eight, and we don't show up, we're known of our word. We know. And I've known people that tell me, Pastor, I want to meet with you at 2 o'clock on Friday. And at 3 o'clock, they're still not here. And I suppose they want me to wait all evening, but I don't do that anymore. I wait 15 minutes. If you are not here, I'm going home because I am not going to wait and waste a whole hour of my day, and then you probably don't come anyway. And I do have a telephone. I wish I could get a witness, amen. If you're not coming, you could call me, amen. I find that there is a there is a issue here that people are wanting God to put up with them no matter what they do. And I'm finding that God has no obligation whatsoever to put up with you if you don't do what you say. If you don't follow the word of God, if you don't follow the commandments and the teachings and instructions, God is not obligated to let you into his heaven. If you violate the word of God consistently and never repent, you are not going to be able to enter the kingdom of heaven. And I find here in Romans that it's, it's making a statement, not just for salvation. We are supposed to live by what we believe. The Bible tells us, amen, that we should not, uh, and our confession shouldn't be yes and no. But it should be yes and amen. In other words, if we tell somebody we're going to do something, we must do it. We must follow through and do it. Amen. I wish when I promised somebody something, when I said it, that everything would stay consistent all the way till the time when I'm supposed to do it. But sometimes somebody say, well, you meet me at 2 o'clock on Friday, and I have all kinds of things happen to me on Friday. 
It doesn't change the fact I told him I'd be there. And so I got to some way get through all these dilemmas and so I can get there on Friday. Can I get a witness? Amen. And so it's important. It is important that we do what God tells us to do. It's important that when we give somebody our promise that we follow through. We expect other people to follow through on their promise. Amen. And unless we start doing it on, on our behalf, then, then it's going to be displeasing to others. Amen. I have found so many people have changed their commitment to God. Now, uh, uh, I see people, when they make their commitment, they make it with an if. One church used to say, Jesus loves you. That was their slogan. Now their slogan, Jesus loves you if you go to our church. Hello. It is. They change what they believe because they'll tell you if you don't go to their, their church, you're lost. But they don't tell you that all you have to do is confess Jesus with your mouth and believe in your heart that you'll be saved. If you make that confession, you'll be saved. Hallelujah. It's important, amen, to us to do what God tells us to do. But this is not the only church you can get saved in. You can get saved out in the woods. You can get saved at the beach. You can get saved in the library. You can get saved wherever you make this confession. And if you believe in your heart, then the Spirit of God will honor the Word. Amen. Thank you for watching Rock of Faith. If you liked our service, please like and subscribe to our channel. If you really like our service, share it with a friend or family member. For the latest news and announcements, please go to our website, roffont.com. Our Google Calendar is on the front page. You can find the link in our video description.